Snestruck! Alright, here we are. Back with, what is this, part four? Of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Snestruck plays Chrono Trigger, not just any old Let's Play. Uh, there's something I forgot, of course. You gotta go over here. Door's locked. Talk to this dude again. Take a peek. Then they let you in. Hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, I'm looking at uh, Kirby's cousin. Specchio. It's a conspicuous name. Uh, let's be nice and say he looks strong. That doesn't make... That makes no sense. Old one? That's not very... That's not very flattering. <laughs> I hope they do that with mobile games sometime. They got so bad that nobody was ever allowed to use them ever again. <laughs> like micro-purchases and all that sort of stuff. Just pretend it's magic, like in Chrono Trigger, when they banned it. It's the same thing. Clockwise. Three times, okay. Oh, we have to walk, okay. Let's be... On. Oh, what a riveting bit of footage this is for an LP. Watch as I walk clockwise around a room. It's worth it though, because you get magic for it. Right? My girlfriend's in the other room playing The Evil Within too. So we've got quite a contrast of games here. All right, I did it. This wasn't like the password fiasco of the freaking other game where I couldn't I was so out of it, I couldn't friggin' even put in the password correctly. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. That's some unfortunate uh, power placement for the two women there. Sure, let's try it out. Hey, we got lightning, of course. And this is basic bitch magic. It takes eight, um, thing, eight, uh, MP to use each of these, which is pretty substantial. It's a lot of magic ratio-wise compared to what you can ha what you can hold. You know what? Let's really try and beat this guy because I think he gives you a bunch of tabs and stuff. So let's, um, who's got the strongest magic at this point? It's probably Marl. So we're gonna see if we can keep her alive. Oh, too late. Actually, you know what? Let's bring her back. Let's use up all our revives. We, we can just buy more. Eh, whatever. You don't matter, drunk. I don't matter. Ah, son of a bitch. Let's give it to Luca then. Let's try and beat this guy. Let's go all out. Oh, I'm dead. I wonder if my strategy even makes sense here, or if I'm gonna even have a chance. I think I need to hit at least four more spells. There's one down, two down. At l oh, I beat him! And I learned to dual tech. Yeah, you get a bunch of goodies from this guy. I think you only get tech points from this dude, not experience points. Special refresher set. Yeah, one magic tab, five ethers. Fuck yeah, I'll take that. And I usually like to give the magic tabs to Marl because she is uh, makes her healing ability that much better. And you'll notice you never actually lose any stuff here. You lose items, like my revives are down, but you don't lose you, you don't lose any uh, hit points or anything. No. 
Let's bring Robo in here. See, that's what's cool is you can... F hey, what's up? You can flip, uh... Or, I'm sorry, Hans. <laughs> I don't know why I named him that. I guess I just wanted a... A Western European, like, German name. Nah. I don't know if you have to see him. Or if you just do it to get that dialogue. What's up, buddy? Let's get... Yes, I will. I'd rather have her in my party. I am partial to Marl and her, and the ice sword spells and all that stuff, so bring it on. What, what do you know? Oh, you're the guy at the end of time. You probably know everything. Stop by whenever you're in the area. <laughs> I'll be sure to do that. This time I'm floating in space. Okay, this one brings you back to 65 billion BC. I'm sorry, 65 million BC. I always say billion. This one brings you back to 2300 AD. This one is the one that brings you to Medina Village. It's actually back to my time. It's just on the other side of the planet. Does the planet ever actually... I, this is a dumb question, but is the planet named in this game? Is it supposed to be Earth? This is a great touch here. <laughs> Came out of the closet. Wah, wah, wah. Were you in there with Tom Cruise and John Travolta? Hey, this guy's giving us useful information. What the hell? You might enjoy a chat with him. Uh-huh. Forgive and forget. Alright, well, let's see what this is. This looks fancy. Oh boy, that music does not sound... What is this, the new Sun-O album? Is that how that band is pronounced? Sun-O? It's like S-U-N-N -N and then apostrophe, 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 O. I don't know, maybe five of you know what I'm talking about. What other bands is this? It sounds like Einster sends a Neue Button. Sorry about my bad German. Or maybe the newest uh, Leibach album. Or maybe Typo Negative. Maybe it's like one of those weird short tracks that Typo Negative used to do. Yum, yum, eat them up. And I thought this... Oh, there we go. No, that's just that guy. I thought the statue actually said something. Oh, oh well. Is there a tab around here anywhere? Tab? Mr. Pib? Anything? No. Let's get the hell out of here. Interesting touch, though. They worship Magus. Very interesting. Hey, what's up, buddy? Mm. Huh. Hecran. That is actually a very tough boss fight. <laughs> Plead with them. I'm not pleading with anybody. Alright, what's down here? We got the market. <laughs> this is a pretty funny touch. Do you fight this guy? I think if you keep talking to him, you, f you fight him eventually? No? Do you have to ask for prices here? I'll plead here. Yeah, okay, now you fight this dude. Alright. You fight both of them. That's great. This guy sucks. I fought him in the castle too, and he was worthless. We're just gonna do physical attacks. They don't actually disappear here, they just kinda... Actually, the Omnicrone here might actually disappear, yeah. handy and you can buy stuff from him but it's all a million dollars <laughs> and all this stuff sucks anyway well no demon edge would be pretty freaking nice yeah all this stuff would be sweet but not at these prices it's like going to freaking whole foods no thanks Oh, I was already here. What is up here? We got another... Oh, we have the Elder's House. Oh, this is Ozzy, our friend. <laughs> this work is brutal. I just imagine him, like, dusting the shelves over there that we can't see. 
Yeah. We know a few people like that here in the United States, don't we? Coasting on their ancestors. Interesting. So we meet Ozzy actually in the village. Just as a regular Joe. And yes, I see the tab over here. In fact, I'm going to interrupt this guy. <laughs> I like that about this game. You can just cut somebody off and just go get them. Go do something else. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I'm a bit uh, buzzed. You'll have to forgive me for that. And I'm really tired too. So. Doo -doo -doo. What's up here? These are the ruins, I believe. Yeah, there's nothing for us up there. Okay, we've explored this town. And now we have a music change. The Light Contemporary FM. Music from some guys in Chrono Trigger. That's a kind of a Mystery Science Theater reference. Uh, yes, I would like to buy one. Give me all your weapons. Okay. F got that. Got that. I think it's probably best we get a couple Titan vests first. I didn't buy any weapons, you old bag. Yeah, get these heavy iron suits off of us. There we go. That'll work. Now we sell our old junk to this guy. Hey, I have a plasma gun. I never equipped it? I don't remember that. What? Is... <laughs> or maybe I got a second one? I don't know. I'm pretty stupid sometimes. Alright, let's, uh... Okay, so I already have that. Let's just get the katana, then. And we have... Let's get... Oh, you don't have any revives? Your store sucks. Never shop in here again. Okay, uh... Yeah, what the fuck? That's weird. Here, you can have my auto gun, since you love weapons so much. Oops. And I'm gonna forget to equip this on Chrono, too. <laughs> Duh. Uh, oh, it riveting LP. Hey, listen, if you want me to freaking play an RPG, you're gonna have to sit through some store buying sequences. Goes with the territory. Yeah, 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 shut up. Uh, hmm. What are books we got over here? Turns out he's got, like, Tony Robbins self-help books and stuff. Okay, now we go into this, uh, cave up here. Just cause, I guess. And now these enemies, since, of course, we just learned magic, they can only be damaged by magic. Physical attacks don't really work. I mean, I guess they kind of do, but not really. You'd just be kind of wasting your time. So get used to hearing these sound effects and seeing these uh, spells, because that's all I'm going to be doing throughout this entire dungeon here. And the boss here is very tough for this part of the game. I don't know if I'm over-leveled, under-leveled, or what. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of those. A lot of ethers. Alright, we're going to fight everybody because we need all the stuff we can get. All the leveled up. All the get stepped up and leveled up. Take care of this asshole first. I only have two revives. That's not good. All because I wanted to... <laughs> to beat that dude, but hey, you got a magic tab out of it that I accidentally gave to Chrono. No, that was a later one, but whatever. One nice thing about uh, LPing a, uh, an RPG is that I got plenty of time to drink stuff. There's, I can take my hand off the controller for once and actually have a beverage or I should say it's easier to do that. It is possible to to do that. In other games, without pausing, it's just kind of tricky. And sometimes <laughs> you actually have to, like, 
put your mouth on the glass and like... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Alright. What are these things? Bull weevils? Armadillo drills with little legs? See, we are already starting to reach the halfway point of our magic points here. I think we're getting some uh, tech points out of these guys. That's very important. Uh, don't want to go that way yet. Uh, there's other stuff we can get over here. And there's other enemies we can fight over here. Like this big, conspicu conspicuously big open area here. <laughs> I wonder why that is. Yeah, I don't usually rely on Chrono's magic too much in this game until he gets Luminaire. Um, obviously that one's real useful. And until you get like Ice Sword, Ice Sword 2, those are the main ones I use. I'll be honest with you, I'm real shallow. And I love how Ice Sword looks. I love how it sounds. It's just, it's just a fun dual tech that I like to use. So... But otherwise, like, lightning and stuff like that? No, I'd rather do physical attacks with him. I'd rather him be a melee guy. All right, Luca. Nice going. And there is a treasure up here. A lousy ether. Couldn't even get me five bucks. All right, now, do I want to go this way or the other? I think let's go this way. Meanwhile, everybody is like, no, go the other way. Oh, check out this entrance. <laughs> it's like they had their own, like, WWE wrestling uh, entrance ramp. They needed a Titantron behind them. Playing their entrance video, which features them getting blown up by magic in two seconds. Because they suck. That is one understated thing. I'm sorry to talk about wrestling, but that is one understated thing I really enjoyed about WWE. Not that anything can be understated in pro wrestling, but the, the entrance videos they came up with for certain guys. Like, I don't know how many of you watched back in the late 90s when there was Shane McMahon's buddies, the Mean Street Posse, and it was, uh... Oh, I forget their names. One guy was named uh, Joey Abs. There's another guy named Pete Gass. Rodney, I think, was the other guy's name. And they had this uh, hilarious uh, Jumbotron video, or Titantron video, rather. And <laughs> it's just them, like, kind of, like, leaning against cars and stuff like that, wearing sweater vests and khakis. It was really funny. Wrestling used to be a lot of fun back then. I don't think, it doesn't seem like it's that much fun anymore with the goofiness. Hey, magic scarf. I think, uh... Again, some of you are screaming, No! Don't put it on her! No! Don't! Like, fuck you. I don't care. Is there something I can put on her that would be better? Eh. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, just, I'm just trying to infuriate as, mon as many fanboys as I can at this point by doing the most ungraceful, least strategic, less thoughtful playthrough I can possibly come up with and these battles don't come back unless you leave the dungeon entirely that's awesome <laughs> it's like yeah there's no random battles in chrono trigger and it's like eh, kind of like there's no avoiding this battle and it's you know kind of random i guess not really but ah shit i didn't mean to do that but, I mean, you can see, you can usually see the guys on the screen, like, like, going through, uh, 2300 AD, where you could, uh, you can see the monsters on the screen, and you can kind of avoid them. But yeah, man, pro wrestling, I stopped, uh, I'll briefly talk about that for a bit. I, I was huge into it, and then in, uh, when I was a kid, my first pay-per-view was uh, WrestleMania. No, my first pay-per-view was Royal Rumble 91. First uh, WrestleMania was WrestleMania 7. One of my, probably my favorite match of all time was uh, the career-ending match between Macho Man 
and uh, Ultimate Warrior. Gotta say Macho Man is my all-time favorite because he was the guy that got me to start watching like all the time because he there was a I remember seeing a Saturday night's main event on my dad's like crappy black and white TV it was like a 10 inch screen not even a 10 inch screen that he just kept it in his room so he could like stay up and watch like masterpiece theater on PBS or whatever and he uh, or football or you know whatever it might be on um, while he was working in his office and I would uh, watch the TV on, on that sometimes because nobody else at the time in my family cared about wrestling I just was kind of morbidly curious by it there was one match where Ultimate Warrior was champion and he fought the million dollar this was December 1990 was the original air date and it was uh, Warrior versus t million dollar man Ted DiBiase okay I think I'm coming up to the boss fight here aren't I or am I a long ways away from that I hope I'm a long ways away from that, because I haven't, I've hardly leveled at all. Um, yeah, it was DiBiase versus Warrior. Warrior wins pretty convincingly, of course, because it's on NBC. They're not going to have a title. Back then, they didn't really have title changes that often, and if they did, it was on pay-per-view. So Warrior defends the title, and then here comes Macho Man, who's super pissed that Warrior won't give him a title shot. He'll fight everybody else, but he won't fight Macho Man. And Macho Man just destroys Warrior and just goes absolutely bananas on him. And um, I remember the scene I remember in my mind's eye is like there's like 15 to 20 referees filling up the re filling up the ring trying to separate him. Warrior's like all beat up and prone and laying on the on the ground in the ring. And Macho Man just climbs the top rope and jumps over like 20 guys to <laughs> a flying elbow drop. Of course, there we go. There's a level up. Of course, when I watch it now, it's nothing like that. Hey, here we go. Ah, uh, yes. Now, this is kind of a design flaw, in my opinion. Not, well, not really, because when I first played this, I'm like, where, where do I go? Where's the cape? Oh, it's on the side. It took me forever to figure that out the first time I played. I was so frustrated. And again, here, I didn't realize this was a bridge for the... I was like, all right, I finally found the way to go, but I can't go up here, and I can't... Oh, I can go this way. Yeah, that kind of annoyed me. All right, so now I'm up here. Oh, shit, yeah, now we're getting to the boss fight. Fuck. All right, um... This is going to be rough. I might die. So I better save. I cleared... I dumped the, uh, thing my uh my save thing so this should be blank unless it's got a save state already that i forgot about um i'm not i'm talking nonsense right now <laughs> sorry um so i'm gonna save and it should be blank unless there's oh, okay yeah this is a save state i was using to i don't know why that automatically loads but there we go All right, here we go. But yeah, no, the Macho Man was the reason I got into it because yeah, this is this is Hecran. This is really tough. He was the reason I got into it because I thought he was legitimately crazy and that nobody could stop him because he could do anything he wanted to. So that to me was like like who's going to stop this guy? This guy's out of control. He's a nutcase. So that was really appealing to me as a kid. Um, he was, and he had this crazy psychotic energy to him too, or the, when he would cut promos, you know, the voice, like, even if you don't know wrestling, you know, the voice, you know, Macho Man's voice, like, you can hear it in your head, you just imagine it, it's, nobody else sounded like that guy, he's, he's a crazy person, so it's, um, yeah, he's, he was the reason I watched. Later on, I became infatuated with, like, Bret Hart, British Bulldog, and, and those guys. All right, we can hit him with we can hit Hecran here with like six straight things, and then we have to start fighting defensively. We have to start making sure we're over a hundred hit points at all points. Okay, now we need to heal, Mr. Drunk. Do not be lazy and just attack with Luca because this dude does some serious damage. I'm gonna be ultra conservative with this battle. Because he, you can die in like a freaking blink of an eye in this, this bullshit. And I still have, yeah, this bullshit water wave. So 
So we're gonna do the same thing. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to do an antipode. Like if he takes a, like if it says such and such taking a break, then maybe I can do um, a dual tech. God, another water wave? Fuck you. See, that's why uh, this dude's relentless. Like you have to keep healing. Yeah, brief counterattack break. I guess he is just counterattacking, so if you don't want him to do that, just lay off. Alright, let's see. Oh yeah, she's got the fewest points. I think I should be able to just do Aura for her. Nope, we're doing all out. Same thing. Just do the same. <laughs> As a result, this battle's gonna take a while. But anyway, yeah, that was the reason I, uh, he was the biggest, uh, reason I watched wrestling back as a kid. Oh, yeah, and then we, he does physical attacks in addition to everything else. Fuck that. You know what? I think I will. Or no, not Fire Whirl. Let's do Antipode. And then let's just do. Who needs a mid tonic? I guess I do. I guess do some. Yeah, that's that does a little more damage. See, he's gonna do one more water wave. Counter track break. I don't care. I'm doing my fucking aura whirl. Hopefully, I won't have to use like an ether or anything like that and drag this fight even further down because that would suck. I didn't even attack, and he still did that. That's some horse shit. Oh, fuck you, man. So yeah, Saturday Night's main event was a big deal when I was a kid. It was huge, because it was like pay-per-view quality stuff. Um... In, in on network TV. In fact, I remember out of nowhere they broke up the Hart Foundation, so it was just Bret Hart and um, Jim Neidhart just kind of went away, and and Bret Hart was one of my favorites, and he, they had him fight D Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, and it was like a real match. It was like 20 minutes long, and it was like a pay-per-view style match. I was like, holy crap, that was really good. Oh, all right, I actually beat him and didn't get threatened too badly. Nobody died. That was easier than I thought. I just fought very conservatively. You gotta keep Marl in your party. Or Robo, I guess. He can heal too, but I like Aura Whirl better than his stuff. Okay. Alright, so that is our next destination. We gotta get back to the fairgrounds to get in the gate and back to 1600, or I'm sorry, 600 AD. Interesting how Christ exists in this universe. After the death of Christ. <laughs> Strange. Let's talk to, I think he should have, hey, where is he? Is he at the fair still? At some point he's got a vest for us, for, or for Luca, I should say. Hey, she's right here. Oh, here we go. Right on. Oh, never mind. Yeah, she talks smack behind his back. Ah, shut up. Go sit in front of a window while the... Oh, here we go. That's what I was expecting. Okay. You just have to go talk to her first. Right on. Okay, so let's equip that. Big time protection there. I was honestly nervous that I was gonna get my ass kicked by by Hecran, because that is a tough um Do they sell revives here? I'd like to buy a shitload of revives. Yeah, you better give me a better hook me up.
Hey, 10 mid ethers. That's pretty freaking sweet. And of course. You see it coming. Dad knows all along. You can buy whatever you like. I would have done that anyway. Ugh, nobody has revives. Okay, I've got all this crap. Heals, mid tonics. All your crap is outdated. Actually, it's not. It's what I have equipped right now. Yeah, whatever. Okay, let's, uh, residents. Residents. Uh, do we need the heal? We do, actually. Okay, so let's... Not that this is suggestive or anything, but we can go... Take a nap in, in Chrono's bed. Yes, a snooze. We'll call it that. <sighs> Alright, let's get out of here and go to the Millennial Fair. Get back through the... I don't know why I talked to that guy. Um, get back through the uh, time portal up here. <coughs> Should we just fight Gato for old time's sake? Nah. Now we can take this guy's lunch with no repercussions. <laughs> uh, nobody gives a shit about your lunch anymore. Actually, there is another trial later on. Like, much later on. They revisit that background that cool ass looking background with the stained glass windows and stuff hey we unlocked some new stuff right on where does this go truce canyon that is actually where we need to go but let's talk to this dude first what you're supposed to have something new to say oh now we can go there oh not yet <laughs> he's still gonna warn us Okay, let's go this way. Back to the canyon so we can find Magus. But if you remember last time we were here, there is a war going on. A war versus Magus. So he might be a little busy for us. And yes, we have to fight these guys again. Anyway, before I started watching, or before I started playing this, I was watching uh, um, the NFC Divisional or Wild Card Playoff. The Saints finished off the Carolina Panthers, so that is who my Minnesota Vikings will play uh, next week. And pretty nervous about that. The Vikings are always due to uh, kick their fans in the balls regularly. I mean, I can name just as many bad losses as I as I can memorable wins, if not more. Actually, I can list more. Um, just as recently as two years ago, there was the Blair Walsh game, missing that easy field goal against Seattle. That was awful. Um, and before that, there was Brett Favre in 2009 against the Saints. At the, but that one was at New Orleans. At least they're playing the Saints uh, at home in this game. And interestingly, the Falcons are favored against the Eagles, which is... They're at the first number one seed. There we go, here's some revives. Cool. So the Eagles are uh, without their starting quarterback, Carson Wentz. And yes, I'm recording this uh, right after that game, so whatever date that is, I think it was today the 7th. January 7th is when this is being recorded. All right, let's give that to... Chrono's ass. Chrono. Uli, is that you out there? I got the door shut, so no, nobody can interrupt and stuff. I think Uli's Ulysses' dog is outside my door. Uh, oh, and then we've got this. The, yeah, I got confused last time I did this, and like, oh, that wasn't a tab. Duh. Probably shouldn't drink so much. Actually, yeah, I should. It's, it's just what I do. You get a lot of tech points against four tech points versus ten experience points. 
Alright, do I want to waste the viewer's time with more meaningless battles, or do I want to keep going with the story? Let's waste some more time with some more meaningless battles. Who doesn't love meaningless battles? That's what JRPGs are all about. Besides, you get to hear cool sound effects like that. I love that sound effect of the sword just like the power attack there slicing through the look at that four tech points. Those come in, those are coming handy. Alright, we got another one up here somewhere, I'm guessing. Nah, eh, fuck it, let's just keep going. Why am I going to the ca oh yeah, because there's a war going on. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> they back off. What? What hero? The appearance of the hero saved us. They must be talking about Frog, right? Frog's the hero. To meet the king. Hmm. Oh, he was injured. Oh, that's no good. Don't you wish I was one of those Let's Play guys that did goofy voices as for each dialogue? Like, <laughs> like I'm a freaking Muppet or something? Is this the right way? This is not the right way. No, it's not. That is my fault. But at least this game has a run button. Hooray, Chrono Trigger. All right, let's go sprinting over here. All right, oh, I never been up here. Oh, 100 gold, who cares? The king himself fought against them. Oh, yeah. So the, the, he's not talking about frog. Suck him? Bronze mail. Can we use that? No, it's useless. <laughs> Damn it. Cyrus sent the poison. He looks pretty young here. He's got a full head of hair. Uh, is that all you gotta say? Oh. I guess he does tell us where he is. So it's some little kid. Here we get into the Tata and the Frog chapter, which is admittedly a bit confusing you know it's like how you know I guess it's one of those like I said before in previous episodes JRPG intuitions it's like well of course you go to the castle when you like why wouldn't you there's important people there so it's like why wouldn't you go and talk to everybody in there to find out as much as you can <laughs> look at these guys. three fierce warriors Let's check the uh, chef, see what he's got cooking up over here. See if we get another cutscene between him and his brother. <laughs> oh yeah, he's got to keep, it's up to him, I guess, to keep the king healthy. <laughs> he's got clouds of dust behind him, working so fast. Oh, Zen and Bridge, yeah, that's your cue to go over there. See, pays off to talk to everybody. Well, I guess it, it does say Southern Continent, and the bridge is the only way to get to the Southern Continent. So, I've seen people, when they play this, they go back to the cathedral and <laughs> wander around everywhere, and it's like, no, 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 where are you going? All right, no battles here. Let's just go straight there. Hey, you can't even cross, it stops you. Hey, look at this. What, that's it? That's all you got? Okay. Which one of you is Cyrus? Oh, you are a mere knight captain, you don't matter.
No, your only hope is us. May you? Oh, I can't even get past here. Well, what the hell? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I gotta find his parents or something like that. God, this guy is one fickle bastard. I'll tell you, your queen gets kidnapped, the king gets thing, and you lose the will to work? What's your problem? Yeah, he went to see the king, and then... Ugh, you guys suck. Yeah, see, I, I should have went here first before going into the castle. That's my fault. Was I just here? Yeah. Is this his house? No? Alright, I admit, I'm a little uh, tired out of it. I forget where I go. Do I go to the cathedral again? No. Oh, okay. You gotta go back to the chef. This is kind of an annoying little fetch quest they throw in here. I forgot about this. So you gotta get the jerky, I believe. Yeah, let's fight these assholes. What else can I ramble about? But yeah, uh, the Vikings, <laughs> the Minnesota Vikings. Um, yeah, they play next week against um, the Saints at home. I have hope uh, because the Vikings are a team that is defense first and their offense is just good enough to get by. Everybody's like, oh, Case Keenum, he's blah, 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 blah. But really all I care about is that Harrison Smith stays healthy. Um, he's He should be the league MVP. He's that good. He's that irreplaceable because the guy does everything on defense anyway. And he's... Uh... Here. Yes. Ha. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those things where you have to leave and then he stops you. Okay, that's what it is. You go to leave, and then he stops you and is like, Hey, get back here. There you go. <laughs> Such a goofy sprite. It's like South Park. <laughs> because legs don't move. One jerky. That's going to feed everybody. Hey, power tab, too. Is that for me, or... Tell that fool he had better come back alive. That's a great line there. Games just didn't have dialogue like that back then, so it really resonated in a way that it doesn't anymore, but it did then, for sure. Better tell that fool, he better come back. Final Fantasy VI, of course, another game like that, but... And conversely, that's what made games like Illusion of Gaia, you know, we were used to, like, weird translations and weird stories that didn't make any sense with, like, talking flutes and vampires and suicidal pigs and whatever else that dude that sets his hair on fire like just all sorts of crazy shit oh no things aren't going well <laughs> should say no no it's for me I was just gonna show up and eat this in front of your face and chew through my breathe through my mouth while I chew if you've never done that if you've never breathed through your your mouth while you chew food you should try it sometime it's the most annoying thing ever like it's the easiest way to annoy pretty much anybody anywhere so uh far outnumbered that's where we come in oh is this this is pretty funny ozzy's leading the troops i believe right <laughs> ah! yeah <laughs> yeah the hero snuck across look at these losers uh, 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 yeah. 
Too bad, so sad. And then they blink away like it's Double Dragon. <laughs> okay. Now, I wonder if I have to use magic against these guys, too. I'm pretty sure I do. And that uh, physical attacks don't really work against these dudes. Yeah, exactly. If I had just attacked normally, it would have been... Uh, here. I think I, I think I can just do a physical attack on Ozzy, or do I even need to? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just runs away. Don't waste your magic on Ozzy. These guys don't even say anything. Come on, let me through. Jesus. Wait up? Why would he wait up? Oh, sweet. Yeah, returning your own soldier soldiers into... Skeletons with spears. Is there any medieval-style JRPG that doesn't use skeleton soldiers of some kind as, a, as an enemy at one point or another? Oh, no. If she might accidentally target Ozzy, that's not good. Shit, she did. Whoops, that's my fault. Wasted magic. Yep, as you might have guessed, Ozzy is kind of the comedic relief of this game. One of many. There's like Dalton, there's Gato. Alright, let's take this guy. Yeah, you gotta do some kind of damage on this dude. Physical damage, rather. Hey, way to go, Luca. Again, look, just look at the background. You got the sunset coming through. I just want to sit here. Forget the war. Let's, let's just enjoy this view here. Alright, boss time, I believe. Don't mess with drunk. I don't never stop anybody else. Oh, we gotta... Oh, wait, no, this is the guy. It's all jumbled and jangled. Alright, now, which half do I want to do for? I think I need the top half first. Yeah, Zombor. Is there a linebacker on the Kansas City Chiefs named Frank Zombo? Let's see. Yeah, one, okay. The top is magic. Magic damage. And the bottom... Oh, no, wait. That's not good. Huh. Okay, let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, let's do... Physical for the top. There we go. Um, but antipodes seem to work for the top, though. So is it just lightning? I'm like figuring this out all over again as if I have not played through this game like a million times. I forget stuff. Yeah, it's just lightning. Stick to one side, or one half rather. Hey, it's just ice. But antipodes still worked even though that was half fire. That's goofy. Still don't need any kind of replenishment at all. <laughs> Chrono has to strut all the way over there, like, all angrily, like, god damn it. Oh, don't do that. Not all of it. Oh, I did all of it. Oh, okay. That means I finished him off. Okay, this one. <laughs> god damn it, I gotta walk all the way over there. Alright, let's try Antipode on... Oh, I don't have any fucking... I might not even need to re... Uh... Let's wait. Might not even need to heal in this battle. Famous last words, of course. Let's see what this does. No, doesn't work. Okay. So let's just. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, we got back that 86 very quickly there. Doom, 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 doom. Okay.
Might as well do that. Because he's starting to sing his own little songs. That, that can't be good. Oh, whoa, okay. We're gonna wanna bring back Chrono if for nothing else than for the um the what do you call it, the experience points. And let's heal him while we're at it. Let's just do uh, physical attacks here. From here on out, because we want to stretch out this LP as long as possible, because content is money. No, I'm just kidding. Because it's fun to play Chrono Trigger. What else are you going to do? And it's fun to watch someone play Chrono Trigger, isn't it? Don't answer that question. I guess I could do, like, Cyclone or whatever. I might speed things up. You notice they made, made a face out of the pelvis. <laughs> like, even though it's just a pair of legs, it still has a face where the groin area should be. There we go. Hopefully that's it. Nope. Oh, and she's dead. Do it, but then I'm gonna nope. God damn it. Yeah, I'll stick to that. Do an aura. I don't know the right way to what's supposed to work. I guess ice would probably still work. Uh oh. Nope, we're good. God, we're still... Come on, you're taking up valuable LP time. Oh, there we go. Luca's weak-ass weapon got him. Ten tech points. And I still haven't learned any new spells. And unceremoniously, it is over. Where is Ozzy? Where did he go? And we are on the other side of the bridge, so now we can go look for Tata and the Frog. Not only that, but we can dick around over here, and there's a whole new thing. Yeah. We have another tab right here. What? Locked? He does indeed, you heard correctly. Deserted the kingdom, why would he do that? Why can't I get to that tab in there? That's annoying. Alright, so we need to replenish a few things. It's your favorite part of any... Yeah, we gotta get rid of this bronze mail. Extra titan vest. So, uh, what do you got? You don't have shit. <laughs> get a couple of revives back, at least. Um, we got four shelters and ten of everything else, so we're good there. Is there another, like, item shop around or whatever? There's the inn. Bunch of people. Oh, I thought that said animes. It's like, it's anime. <laughs> it's not plural. Anime is plural. You don't say animes like Pokemans. No, I don't. <laughs> I'll tell someone else. All right, fine. I'll hear your long-winded story. Oh yeah, that's where we're headed next. Is the D Dorio Mount, the Deandrio Mountains, or whatever? Diadario Mountains. They're made out of guitar strings. Energy whirls. Give me a drink. All right, fine. What about you? The R and R Hotel. No. You'll wait for me, eh? Well, don't hold your breath. Ah, our first mention of the Masamune. Masamune, whatever it is. Uh, no, I have not. Well, good for you. Thanks. Thanks for wasting my time. Masam. Masam. I always said Masamune. I don't know if it's Masamune. Huh? What's going on? 
Oh! He's bullshitting over here. We meet Toma for the first time. Get out of this guy's way. Hmm, so we, let's, let's go talk to that guy. Aha, another Masamune. Masamune. Mention. Cue the 700 comments that this video is gonna get. 700, more like five comments that I'm gonna get that are gonna tell me the correct pronunciation. Ozzy, Flea, and Slash. Flea is the bass player for the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and Slash was the guitarist for Guns N' Roses. They broke up, then he had Slash's Snake Pit, then he had Slash with the Conspirator, uh, with Miles Kennedy and the Conspirators, and now he's back in Guns N' Roses. He's, had a, he's one of my favorite guitar. He's probably my favorite guitarist of all time, Slash, if I had to pick one. He's one of those melodic guitar players. Like, he can shred, but he doesn't really need to. I mean, when, he, when I say shred, he's not like a frick, one of those like Eric Johnson types, or he just goes absolutely insane. He's really good. Like, he's he doesn't need to do that. Do I go here now? No, they said to go to the far village. Yeah, there's another village down here. Ah, you got nothing. What's this market have? Hopefully some new shit. Oh, almost, kid. <laughs> oh, we got another tab over here. Power tab. Let's give that to Chrono. Some people, when they play this, they like to give it to, um... Oh, shit. <laughs> they like to give it to, uh... Robo, and make Robo their high power thing. And I can't argue with that, because Robo's already over the top powerful, but I just like Chrono. Gold suits for everybody. Alright, let's conclude this uh, LP with everybody's favorite activity, which is equipping stuff on everybody. One thing this game had going for it, um, or I should say another thing this game had going for it, was the, the art work for each character. Like, I was so excited to get a new character so I could see what they l really looked like. Like, I know the video game depiction of them, but, like, what do they really look like? It's like, if that makes sense. Like, if the, like, if the engineer, like, if the stuff were better, if the technology were better, what would they look like in that game? Like, that's how I always saw it. There we go. Okay, we are all set. Let's keep this going to an hour. I'll, I'll keep exploring here. Mumbling. <laughs> Oh, frogs around here. No. Okay. Tata, we know his name. Why are you in the corner? What's your problem? What, are you taking a leak or something? What's your deal? Can I order a drink or something over here? Nope. Oh, well. Ah, Tata's house. <laughs> I love his gestures. Like, he's really emphatic. <laughs> his hands out. Look at that! Oh, and this is this is another great line up here. This guy. <laughs> uh, Alright. Anything over here? We have our last... Our elder's house. Yeah, that's it. Are you now? Oh, we got two more of those chests. Keep those. Leave those alone. Oh yeah, don't we come back with jerky later? At some point? I'm talking like way later in the game, like 12 hours from now. Cool. So he's in the mountains. He is in the mountains. Everybody says he is in the mountains. So it can't get more straightforward than that. And that's Fiona. Not to be confused with Fiona Apple. All right, so I think I'm going to wrap it up here for this episode. And I want to thank you for watching. 
and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Cheers.